Maybe you saw today Attorney General Josh Stein announced that he'd be running for governor in 2024. He's the first to officially announce a run here, and he may be the only Democrat in the race when it's all said and done. WRL state government reporter Travis Fain joining us now with a little bit more. Travis, uh, not a huge surprise here. People, people knew he was going to run or at least expected him to, but pretty far out. I mean, filing doesn't happen for almost a year. Yeah, we're 10 months out from that opening, you know, so there's a lot of unknowns. Uh, but like you said, we've known for a while Stein's going to run. Current Governor Roy Cooper, he's term limited. Stein has clearly been next in line for Democrats. He's a prolific fundraiser, experienced politician. He's used his position as attorney general to go after bad actors in a really kind of high profile way, suing companies that produce opioids, for example. Uh, he has the support of much of the Democratic establishment. Will he get a primary challenger? Well, I don't know. It's too soon to say, but so far there's only speculation on other candidates and really not much speculation at that. In his video announcement today, Stein was already turning to the general election. He had some biographical information in that announcement, as candidates usually do, but much of the video focused on Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson, the presumed front runner on the Republican side of this race, who has made a bunch of controversial comments disparaging uh, LGBTQ folks, uh, among other things. Very different candidates there. Um, look, and since he announced, we're officially allowed to speculate as journalists. We can look ahead now to the governor's race if we like. So let's do so and talk about those two candidates and, and what the outlines might look like for the race. I, I think it's likely to heavily feature culture war issues. I mean, we, it's not till 2024 where things really get going. I mean, lock and change between now and then. But culture war, social issues, that's where Robinson has garnered the most attention. He speaks to churches all the time, uh, fires up the GOP's conservative base. Stein is using that as a foil, promising to stand up for gay marriage rights, for example, uh, to protect abortion access. Robinson, staunchly anti-abortion, uh, even though he's acknowledged paying for an abortion roughly 30 years ago, which he now says was wrong. It was really stark, though, how much of Stein's first official communication today as a candidate for governor focused on Robinson. He quoted the lieutenant governor several times, and that's no doubt in the hopes that Robinson's bombastic rhetoric uh, will sink him with moderate voters and, of course, lift Stein to the governorship. OK. All right. Very interesting. And hey, here we go. As Travis mentioned, though, filing for the race doesn't officially begin until December. The primaries are in March of 2024. Again, Travis, thanks.